Hey, 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 you naughty twin flames. <laughs> I added an extra couple of haze there. I feel like you're too close. Why are you too close? I don't know. Is that too close? <laughs> Is that too far away? Is that too close? Is that too far away? <laughs> of course, I've been playing with Donkey today and Donkey, wherever, I don't know where he's gone, but some of the gang have kind of up and left me and they said they were going on holiday for a little while um, because they were having difficulties on the twin flame journey and I just threw my hands up in the air and said well are you going to tell me when you're coming back and they don't know so hopefully I get an email or a, a text message or something <laughs> soon because it's been a little while now today I'm so delighted to bring you message in a bottle from your divine masculine wow all these cards are flying out already message in a bottle Woo. and if you're too young to know that's a police song by the police message in a bottle but before we do the message in the bottle we're gonna get a little story about divine masculine because as we know he can be very cheeky and very sneaky and for those of you in separation i want to give you hope because a lot of twin flames are coming back together right now okay a lot of twin flames are doing my twin flame system and they are coming back together some people were blocked for years some people hadn't even met their twin flame some people uh, were in other commitments and they decided to be with their twin flame and their twin flame decided to be with them so i'm seeing all sorts of miracles happening before my very eyes so if you haven't done the twin flame system and you're struggling make sure you connect with me as soon as you can okay we can do a reading first if that if that makes you feel a bit better always go with your intuition okay if you want to work with me i'd love to work with you and i'm so excited for this reading the energy is changing energy is shifting up and um i don't know i feel like divine masculine is kind of being sexy and kind of being smiley at the same time smiling and sexy just like harry <laughs> Woo. so we're gonna get thinking feeling and then we're going to use the sexual tarot the tarot of sexual magic to have a little peek as well wow so their thoughts have been on their money okay this is a theme that's been coming up and all the divine feminines kind of want to roll their eyes and go <laughs> i don't know are we allowed to swear i don't know where my swearing bell is i think they took it camping with them in case they swear <laughs> but the divine feminine wants to go ffs and if you know what FFS stands for, you know. <laughs> Why are they still working? Come and see me already. This is what the Divine Feminine is screaming out her window. Perhaps not out the window if she's got neighbours. But <laughs> she might lock herself in her bedroom, put her pillow on her head and say, Stop working already. Come and see me already. And then, <laughs> I love this, look at this. And then he goes, but I'm doing it for you, <laughs> all right? And then he goes, but I'm really doing it for you. Wow, look at that. Cowboy divine masculine. It's this really kind of Valentine's Day feel mixed with the most sexy expression you've ever seen in your life have a look at that 
some of you may have divine masculines that you know have the stubble the stubble and then we literally get one more card that's talking about working i haven't been talking to you because i've been gaining my resources here right gaining my resources working on my money trying to manifest right trying to manifest but who are they manifesting for right here's the king of cups now for the divine feminine the star divine feminine you're showing up as the star wow oh wow oh wow omg Alrighty, I'll hold up the cards I'm guided to hold up because I've got like three, six, let me tell you how many I've got, three, six, seven, 21 cards here plus the bottom of the deck which I've showed you some of there. I've been spying on your social media without you realizing and I've been checking out the messages. Sometimes I do this while I'm at work <laughs> right, with the seven of pentacles so just know that even though I'm putting in the hours at work right the time's ticking by I'm thinking of you I'm doing this for you I would do anything for love but I won't do that I'm not sure I'm never sure what he won't do if someone knows the answer to that let me know now, I just noticed in this card, see the two swans in the background here? And they're mirrored as well. Wow. Elephants are important to some of you. Some of you may collect elephants. Some of you resonate with the animal elephant. Then he goes, I'm not content without my feminine. This is like a union reading. This is so cool. Look. Without my feminine, she's showing up as the Queen of Cups. There's no bliss. There's no joy. There's no magic. <laughs> and then we have the Yes card. Right? Some of you may have a divine feminine or be a divine feminine or masculine that's from India or have Indian heritage of some kind there with that card. Really beautiful card. He has clarity. There's been a little bit of bad luck going on. In his thinking, he's been a little bit negative at times. You know, how am I going to get through this? How am I going to work this out? We also have the two of wands in reverse here. You know, how do I get to my future? How do I work it out? You know, it's kind of like he feels like he's rolling the dice sometimes. You know, let's hope that works. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like gambling. <laughs> I've got all of my pay on the table. This is, of course, not true, but it's like this is kind of what he says. You know, I've got my heart in my hand and I'm at the table and I'm about to roll the dice and if it comes up with that number I win everything and if it comes up with that number I lose everything and he's kind of in that mode of thinking like I really hope I roll the dice right this time I really hope luck is on my side so he's feeling really worky <laughs> okay he's feeling worky and family oriented because why is he doing this work for his future what a beautiful message i'm working towards my future because my future involves love <laughs> wow the ace of cups here look at that who's got my heart in a coffee mug divine feminine you know you can almost <laughs> you can almost feel him, you know, taking a sip of coffee and thinking about the feminine. Many of you may have a divine masculine that really loves coffee or is a connoisseur of, of food and drink in some kind of way. We then get this, this feeling of 
<laughs> oh shit, right? I haven't got my swearing bell. Let's just go ding, ding, ding. Okay. But it's like he goes, oh shit. I haven't messaged her for a little minute. <laughs> God, I'm an ass. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's kind of hoping she doesn't grab that that sword there or that wand there and throw it at him and say hey bucko hey buddy hey buster <laughs> you might come up with some different names for your divine masculine but you know he's like oh i better send her more messages because i feel like she needs that now if you're not in 3d communication this can be a 5d message wow we then have the four of wands this is my person, he says. For some of you, you're going to be shocked when he does send you a message because you may not have heard from him for a while. But it's this thing where he says, you know, she's my person. You know, even if we had to live in a tent, right, and join the circus together to make money, I'm kind of feeling like that's the way I want to go because it doesn't matter where I am. She's always with me. And then he has a little scary thought here. What if she won't communicate back to me? What if she's hesitant and he doesn't like that feeling? He doesn't like to, to know that there's a possibility that she could be hesitant in any way. Now, let me just clear up these cards a little bit before I get the sexual magic deck. And then, of course, we're going to do message in the battle. I can't wait to do that section. I kind of want to do it now. The bottle's staring at me. Look at it. It's staring at me like Little Red Riding Hood does. Should I leave it there just to tease us? Maybe I will. <laughs> it's like, what messages have you got? Before messages in a bottle, I've got messages not in a bottle. Okay, so we've got lots of messages going to come from him. Alrighty, let me put these decks over here because I think I've finished with those ones now. Tarot of sexual magic. Let's delve into the sexual side of things just a little bit more and see what on earth is going on here. Nine of wands. Okay, many of them are exhausted from work. Kind of can't wait to get this nurturing here. You know, if I was with my divine feminine and I came home from work, Hopefully, she would spoil me rotten, <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe she would bake for me. Maybe she would cuddle me. Maybe she would take a shower with me. Maybe she'd give me a long massage. That would be nice. He's really wanting this nurturing. I love this energy from him. It's not just sexual. It's about feeling comfortable with your counterpart and it's a very beautiful energy and then we have him appearing as the knight of cups again i'm just so in love i don't think i can shake it imagining perhaps you know coming together in a wedding situation or a you know some kind of fantasy it's like a fantasy here with the moon. It's his secret fantasy to be intimate with you as well. We notice the black cat around here though. It's, it's, this is a weird card because on one hand, you know, you've got this fantasy going on and then you've got the black cat, which is, means, you know, there's a, still a few 3D people around. But then we've got dessert in front of him. <laughs> it's like... I feel like he wants to say, can I have my cake and eat it too, right? And he, he means, can I have my fantasy and it come true for me? Even though there's this karmic stuff around me, can I have it all? 
can I kind of maybe shoo that black cat away? No offense to cats, I love cats, but in this card, it's a kind of weird energy. It's a kind of, he feels like someone's around him watching him or making decisions for him in some kind of way. And then we have the King of Swords. Yeah, but I'm going to cut them off. Whoever they are, right? Maybe it's his mother. Maybe it's his cousins, brothers, uncles, sister. Some kind of feminine energy there kind of watching in the background. He's going to cut them off for the Divine Feminine. That's what he wants to do. We then have the Three of Pentacles. I only want to be with you, <laughs> right? Wow. I want to sing that song. Yodlehi, yodlehu, you rock my world. Yodlehi, 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 when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to be your girl. Except he's saying, I want to be your guy. You know, take gender how it resonates. Remember that song? <laughs> Maybe not all of you know that. That's a, a kind of a country song. So then we have the two of wands in reverse. She has to be in my future. She has to be in my future because my future isn't the same without her. I want her to play footsies under the table with me. I want us to stay up late night and talk. He's really coming into a very feminine energy. Not feminine as in, in a gender sense, but feminine as in a loving sense. You know, I want to nurture her. I want to speak to her. I actually want to spend good quality time with her. And then if we notice there's a meal on the table, I want to share a meal with her. I want to have passion with her. We have a flame there. We also have a gun and a bow and arrow. I also want to protect her. So it's a, it's a very balanced masculine and feminine energy within him. And there's dogs barking as a synchronicity, agreeing with me. My dogs always agree with me. That's great. So the three of wands is here. You know, I still got some stuff to work out in my 3D life. But ultimately, I'm focused on the divine feminine and then she, you know we were saying she's coming up as the star and notice the star in this card i really feel like he's imagining her in his dream state as well we have got a lot of night cards here here's another night card you know as in at night time there's a star in that window there at night time i think of you this is the two of pentacles I don't feel balanced without you. I feel as though I'm not the same. He may also be infatuated with her bottom <laughs> and her legs and breasts here. We have the four of pentacles. I feel like I need to hold on to her. She's so beautiful. She's so warm. If you notice the fireplace in the background here, she's so warm. You know, he almost wants to suckle on her breast um, in a passionate way, but also so that it feels good for her, you know, in a nurturing way. My favorite card of, of today is this Three of Pentacles. You can see how Divine Feminine still feels vulnerable but he's willing to catch her you know even though she's vulnerable I'm still willing to catch her I'm still willing to hold her I understand that she needs me and that's a huge shift to say I understand that she needs me wow I love this reading this is a divine masculine who's had a real long hard think about where he wants his future to go and sometimes in the separation phase of the twin flame journey that's what happens is that the divine masculine realizes in the separation time that 
you know, OMG, what was I thinking? OMG, my divine feminine is <laughs> the bee's knees. Why would I need anything else? Why would I want anything else, you know? Right, we have messages not in a bottle. So what I'm going to do is put my finger in like this and they're falling out. Can you see them? Ah, what a fun way. Hang on, did I lose any? Oh, there's not enough. Let's just get, there we go, two more. That's cool. That's a cool way of stirring the pot, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see what he wants to say. Wow. I can't stop this passion I have for you. It sounds like the title of a love song. I can't stop this passion I have for you. I love this. If love was a person, it would be you. Wow. There was love all around, but I never heard it singing. No, I never heard it at all till there was you. There was something all around, but I never heard it ringing. No, I never heard it at all till there was you. And then it's, and there were roses and wonderful roses. They tell me and sweet, precious something, something, <laughs> something, right? Beautiful song though. There was love all around, but I never heard it singing. No, I never heard it at all till there was you. Yeah. If you could know my heart, you would see it in your smile. Wow. <laughs> beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful one? Let's keep going. Ooh, these may be important, these letters. We have the letter L. The letter T, the letter J, the letter N, the letter P, and the letter A. Okay, they may be in your name or in your divine masculine's name. If you're looking for a sign today, there it is, right there. Okay. Yeah, I told you about the black cat. Black magic is at play here. That will resonate for about two people who are watching this channel and you'll know who you are because you'll feel really, really tired all of the time and you'll feel highly unmotivated and that won't normally be you. So if you need help with that, contact me. Two people that resonate for watching today. Wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm saving that one till later. I'm not showing you that one yet because there's a song with that one, you know, it's coming. Okay, yeah. So for the black magic people, please take care of you. I need you to be okay. That's a message from your divine masculine, his higher self, all right, talking to you. Remember our first connection? I feel like we're meant to be. Wow, that's a cool message. They've got some nostalgia here, remembering you, Divine Feminine. Your kindness is so perfect. Thank you. So maybe you've done some kind things for your masculine. And he's admiring that. I can't contact you right now. Life is in the way. Okay, that's only for some of you who are in separation right now. That's not for those of you who are in semi-union, as I like to call it. Okay. <laughs> Your smile makes me weak, right? And remember that last one I said? Ready? If you like it, then you better put a ring on it. If you like it, then you better put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. If you like it, then you better put a ring on it. <laughs> I love that. 
in the future I want to give you a ring and there's a picture of a ring that goes on your finger um, it could also mean give you a ring as in <laughs> using their hand telephone they might give you a call hello there seems to be no connection on this phone I don't know it also happens with bananas have you tried ringing with a banana it doesn't work very well all right, I know we're all waiting for message in a bottle. Now, these ones coincide with the cards. So let's give it a swizzle. All right. Do you like that word? That's my new word for the day. A swizzle and see what happens. Oh, that's one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two. Woo. Three. Four. A bit more of a swizzle. Five. This is fun. <laughs> hang on he's being difficult now we want to know all your secrets oh okay there's a million there all right we have a million so we're going to use this deck here i'm going to just give it a quick shuffle and then we're going to go with it we're going to go with the flow when i get that feeling i want sexual healing i don't know why that's coming up <laughs> Six of Swords, I want to move away with you into karma waters. Why? Because I want to have sexual relations with you. And, you know, that song I was singing before it even came. So let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can mix the song with the card. All right. Who loves you, baby? Who really loves you, baby? I've always been on your side morning and night. Ooh, that's a bit high. <laughs> he loves you, baby, right? Here's the chariot. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. He is awakening, awakening to you, Divine Feminine. Well, this is fun doing the songs. Message in a bottle with songs. Okay, what's my next song? Ooh. Okay, wise men say only fools rush in. And I'm, it's going to be too low, so I'm going to have to go higher. And I can't help falling in love with you. Wow, nine of cups, you are my wish. I can't help falling in love with you. This one's a little bit tight. Let me just get that one. Oh, you are my wish. Yep. And then it says, I hope you can read this. Seeing the truth. I'm seeing the truth that you are my wish. Wow, this is fun. Okay. The next song is, hmm, let me see. I don't want another pretty face. I don't want another da 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 da. I don't want my love to go to waste. I want you and your beautiful soul. Right? He understands this is a soul connection. Beautiful soul. I love this reading today. <laughs> and then you want to say this in a robot voice communication imminent all right communication is imminent on its way wow he he really loves you what's the next song hmm um one two three four come on baby say you love me five six seven times Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I just want to keep on counting until you are mine. Seven of Swords. You didn't believe it, Divine Feminine. You thought he was gone, right? But guess what? <laughs> I love this. Behavior adjustment. He's going to adjust his behavior and come in correct. Okay. This is going to be connection in the 5D or the 3D. All right, next song is, ooh, hang on, I have to think about this one. 
How will I get you alone? How will I get you alone? Alone. <laughs> He's got so much going on at the moment. How will he get you alone? Right? He's decided he's going to ride the wave. He's going to ride the wave to come and see you somehow, somewhere. <laughs> Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. That's the next song. <laughs> what a weird musical event this has become. Yeah. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. How did I know that was coming? I must be psychic or something. <laughs> and I'm having fun. Look in the mirror, right? Every time you look in the mirror, I want you to love yourself more because that's going to bring your divine masculine closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And I'm getting so excited. Oh, I feel like um oh, what's what's the next song? I'm really excited. Um Nothing's gonna change my love for you. You wanna know by now how much I love you. One thing you can be sure of I'll never ask for more than your love. At work he is singing about you, all about you. Whether you know it or not. <laughs> and I don't think there's a cuddle song, is there? If anyone knows a cuddly song, let me know. Now, don't ask me why this one's coming up, but this is coming straight from Donkey, I reckon. Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas. In pajamas are chasing teddy bears. Bananas in pajamas will catch you unawares. Cause on something they will try to catch you unawares. Now that's like a kid's song. You may never have heard that before and you're kind of going, wow, she's really weird. But here are the children. Look, I want children with you. And or if you have children, I am going to accept them fully. I'll even be crazy enough to sing. Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. We can use them as a phone. Bananas in pajamas are chasing teddy bears. Bananas in pajamas. All right, I'll shut up now. Right, last song. Last song. Ooh. Pretty woman, da 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 da. Pretty woman, don't walk on by. Pretty woman, no one could look as good as you. Mercy. <laughs> Mark, if you're listening, <laughs> you get to go watch Pretty Woman now. I made you watch Dirty Dancing, but if you're watching today, I want you to go and watch Pretty Woman, All right? That's kind of a twin flame movie, isn't it? All right, he's emotionally stressed if he can't give you some love. He doesn't want you to belong to anyone else. He doesn't want to belong to anyone else. And if you're at a distance, which for some of you, you may be, um... That's causing him a little bit of stress. He doesn't like that. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed message in a bottle. Well, they were messages, but messages in a bottle. I had heaps of fun with my swizzle stick. The gang, hopefully they're going to come back to me soon. Maybe they've left me for good. Do you think? I hope not. Anyway, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, absolutely fantastic day, night, afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. And if you need me, please contact me. My details are below. Um, I want to just quickly mention that if you want to do my Twin Flame system, it's available in payment installments. 
So the Ascension package has nine videos, the manifesting course has six videos, and the um, advanced manifesting course also has six videos. If you don't know what you need, just contact me and I'll steer you in the right direction. And what else? What else? What else? What else? I feel like there's one more message for those of you who stuck around right till the end. I feel like there's just one more right at the bottom here. Oh, wow. There's two more because one just fell out. Let's see what he wants to say. Don't tell Divine Masculine we're spying on him. <laughs> if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. Again, I want to be your life partner. That's a big thing. Wow, I love this reading. And then he says, for some of you, this will resonate. I keep seeing butterflies. Butterflies for transformation. Butterflies are also messages from loved ones. And butterflies are just beautiful in general, uh, you know, bringing out that fifth dimensional consciousness and dimension energy and above, which is, of course, where this planet is heading. Believe it or not, we are going into a better world, a new world, a freer world, a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. Remember that? Louis Armstrong, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. What a wonderful message for the day. And I'm just so excited for all of you who are coming into unions. I'm so excited for those of you who have started my twin flame system. <laughs> and... Have a beautiful day, night, afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. Mwah! I'm sending you so much love from Australia. I hope you can understand my accent because I did have someone say that they were having trouble understanding my accent once. Because sometimes I, I do this, you know, I talk way too much. Alrighty, see you later alligators and then you say in a while crocodile. Okay, can we get that going for a while? Hopefully. Okay, ready? See you later alligators and then you say in a while crocodile. Alright, see you later and get a mate from Australia and I'll see you real soon. Bye everyone. Bye.